Thanks for listening to the Art Tactic Podcast. I'm your host, Adam Green. Hope everyone's having a great summer and staying out of the heat. September is just around the corner, and things in the art world go from very quiet to extremely busy in a short period of time, with gallery shows, art fairs, and auctions all over the world. In this week's episode of the podcast, we're very excited to speak with one of the most important contemporary Chinese artists, Yu Min Jun. Yu is considered part of the cynical realism movement in China that originated in the 1990s, focused on individual expressionism, and really in response to the Cultural Revolution. Yu is best known for his paintings of laughing faces, and he recently released a collection of 999 unique NFTs depicting variations of that well-known laughing man on Live Art's platform. Live Art is a Web3 platform for art and culture. They work with the world's top traditional artists to bring them to Web3. Yu was kind enough to join us to chat about his experience of making an NFT and how it compares to making a traditional artwork, and he tells us if he plans to make more in the future. Hope you enjoyed the conversation. Thanks so much for listening. You, thanks so much again for coming on. It's really a pleasure to speak with you. You recently released a collection of 999 unique NFTs depicting variations of your well-known laughing man on Live Arts platform. Really, to this point, there's only been, a, I would say, a handful of very reputable fine artists who have created NFTs. I'm curious, what appealed to you about making an NFT? Oh, I think this is a new field. 是一个比较神秘的一个领域，然后我也想去体验一下，呃，就就就是这个好奇心驱使我去做这事儿吧。嗯。Um, so Adam, um, what uh triggers Yu Minjun to do this uh NFT exploration is uh comes from his curiosity to this new realm, this new adventure, this new world, uh into this uh Web three realm. So his curiosity lead him into this um, Web3 world and then create these NFTs. Yeah, and I wonder from an artist's perspective, how different was the process to create these digital artworks, these NFTs, compared to your more traditional artworks, such as your paintings? I think the most important thing is the technology and the traditional art and the traditional art have a huge difference. And I feel like 数字艺术的这个这个未来可能会带来更多的呃新的这种新的一种可能性吧。我是觉得有这种可能性。嗯。Um, Adam. So, um, basically, the method of creating the artwork are different. Um, but what's It's more important for Yu Minjun is that he thinks there are some more possibilities, more potential in this NFT world uh, that uh, he can use and to create more cool, better stuff in the future. And so the NFTs, they sold out in, I think, just a few hours. It seems like there isn't a lot of overlap between fine art collectors and NFT collectors. Do you view this NFT as a way, perhaps, to introduce your art to maybe a younger generation, NFT collectors who aren't as familiar with your work as traditional art collectors? Uh, yes, the people who are the most important people who are the most important people are the most important people who are the most important people who are the most i n t 所以我觉得可呃，我觉得就是艺术家也应该呃体验和尝试一下这个东西，也许能够给我未来的那个创作带来更多的灵感，或者是呃新的，或者会有新的启发。呃，我我是比较看好这种东西，这个数字艺术的未来的一种可能性吧。So to answer this question, uh. 
yes, uh, Yu Minjun thinks that um, the the collectors of digital art and of NFT is should be a younger group of collectors, and um, but he thinks that it's also artist's responsibility and to uh, involve embrace these uh, younger generations uh, who um, may be more interested in the digital arts as well. Um, and then, but um, as as he answered uh, for previous question, he thinks there's a really big pos- po- potential and possibilities in the future of NFT and in the web three world. Yeah, I wanted to ask you what you think about the NFT space and how it may evolve in the future. It seems at the moment it's still very much in its early stages. There is some good art. There's a lot of not very good art, I would say. There's a, certainly a lot of market speculation. And it doesn't seem like there's that much curation yet. So tell me, what do you think about the space and where it may head in the future? NFT这种形式可能都是想通过进入到数字艺术领域里面去寻找新的那种创作的灵感吧我觉得他们那个出发点是这样的 那么那个现在那个也有很多的收藏家，他们可能就是也也对这个新的这种形式充满了一种好奇，还有还有他们可能觉得未来可能很有希望，所以我觉得这是一个刚开始的一个东西，未来能走到什么样的状况，或者是变
and um, and the artists would have their own style or own community uh, in different locations or different um, countries with different people. So he doesn't know what exactly is going to happen, but he is looking forward to see what's going to happen. You, thank you so much again for coming on the podcast. It's really a privilege to have you on and to be able to speak with you. And congratulations again on your first NFT. And Helen, thanks so much for helping us by translating. We appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Adams. Uh, thank you, Adams. Thank you. Thank you.